Hello there everyone, Mr. Priz here again. Another little tutorial on Seven Days to Die for you. Uh, this is on some of the God tools or Dev tools in the game. Uh, don't generally recommend using them, ruin your experience. They're totally overpowered, but if like you're running a little server or whatever uh, with you and your friends, you may want to do some work uh, on the place at times and you just want to do think, get things done faster to make the server get it back up faster so your friends can enjoy it. So there are some tools that the developers use, actually, that aren't generally available for the players. And you're probably wondering, Priz, how do I get those? Let's find out. All right, once you're in the game, you're going to press your F1 key. Your F1 key, as you can see right there. And that's going to bring up the control console, or command console. And you're going to type C, M. That would give you, again, the creative menu. It is now, oh, well, let's see, I guess I already had it on. Uh, it is now on. Okay, creative menus on, and you want your debug menu to be on. So you're going to type DM for that, and you get uh, the debug menu on. All right, so you're going to get into your um, crafting menu. You usually do that by pressing your tab button. Should be the default. It is on mine. Uh, you'll see it looks just like your normal crafting screen, but you do have up here a little light bulb that says creative. You click on that light bulb, and it's going to bring up everything in the game. Everything, every possible block you can even imagine. Uh, what you want to do here is this little thing right there is for the dev blocks. If you click on that, and you search in this little box here for dev, D-E-V. Oh, let's click that back on. Okay, there you go. Make sure it's on and you search for dev. This is going to give you all the developer tools. Um, we'll go over them real quick here. You've got the paintbrush. I'm going to do a whole future tutorial uh, video just on, the, on how to paint. A lot of people don't understand it. It's really pretty cool. You can make the world look pretty awesome. Uh, but we won't cover that today. There is a super wrench. The super wrench will basically dismantle any, everything or anything in one shot. Uh, pretty much use the wrench on one time. It'll take apart a car, make it go away. Uh, there's this uh, nice semi uh, uh, SMG here, this uh, submachine gun that is actually called the super digger. It's more like an auger with endless power and fuel. Uh, it will just dig through the earth. You can make tunnels, trenches, whatever you want to do with it. It'll knock down buildings. Uh, pretty much takes everything out in one shot. It does not seem to kill any of the zombies, though. So you'll need this thing, the Instant Death Pistol. Uh, in previous versions, before Alpha 17, which is what we're on now, Alpha 17.4, um, this was known as the Just Die. You actually search for Just Die to find the weapon. But it's now called the Instant Death Pistol. It has endless ammo. It will one-shot everything. We'll demonstrate that later. This is a little more detailed work. This is kind of like that uh, Super Digger, but it just will do things one block at a time. It is called the Hammer of God. It is great for just taking out a specific block that you don't want where it is. And it's better than, you know, when you're trying to pickaxe something and you got to hit it 20 times. This will just take it out in one shot. We'll demonstrate that, too. Uh, this is the Fool's Cap. Fool's Cap basically gives you unlimited health and whatever. If, if you're messing around in creative and a zombie hits you and you start bleeding and you're like, oh my god, am I going to bleed to death and I'm trying to do something here, just use the Fool's Cap. If you're dying of thirst, dying of hunger, whatever you're dying of, it just basically cures everything. Just click on it, use it. Uh, here's some rocket boots for you. These look safe-ish. I like that description. These look safe-ish. Um, these will basically uh, make you jump beyond belief. You just go up in the air. It's beyond double jumping. Uh, and then we also have a jet pack, which helps you move uh, pretty fast around the earth. Again, good if you're trying to uh, do, some, do some work on your um, world and you just want to get it back up and running real fast. You can see there's my uh, little rocket, my little jump boots. And uh, when I there I can just jump right over walls over my prison so now I've moved out here and uh, well, let me try that again so now I've moved out here into the lovely world outside this prison that I'm at just to demonstrate if you see that I have my uh, my super wrench one click that's gone thank you 
Uh, also going to show you over here how to uh, just take out blocks. I don't want this block here. I want to do something else on this corner. Just bam, just knock them out. One shot, things are gone. Maybe I want to take a whole bunch of them out so I can grab my super digger. It's going to make a liar of me. No, it's actually doing it. It's just a little slow to render. There it goes. Maybe you want to dig holes, dig trenches, take down buildings, whatever you want to do. Your super digger will knock it out. It should be pretty good from a distance. I don't know if it'll how close I have to be to, for it to hit something. Let's wander over to this building over here. Boom, boom. You can take down entire buildings with this. Pretty awesome little tool. And you can see the effects of the uh, structural integrity, how things just kind of fall when they don't have the support anymore. So that's pretty awesome. Now I want to demonstrate um, our lovely little uh, our lovely little pistol, our instant death. We're going to do from our previous video where we had uh, how we can spawn in things. We're going to spawn in, I don't know, what do we want to spawn in? How about some, we want some kind of zombie, let's see here. Not the fat cops because they'll, oh, the fat Hawaiian. They shouldn't fat shame them, but we're going to get the fat Hawaiian. We're going to spawn 25 of them. We're going to show you how this works. Oh, my. Oh, see, normally I would be, like, in trouble here, but not with this lovely pistol. We're just going to take some of these guys out. Wow, the lag is real. Yeah, 25 of those guys would normally send me into a... Absolute, well, hell, two of those guys would send me into a panic. Look at this, I get some loot. How nice. I don't want any of that. Let's try it again. Because these are just too fun to play with. How about the, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, Zombie Joe? Yeah, Zombie Joe is always fun. Because he'll actually come after you a bit. They move a little quicker. We'll let them spread out a little. And again, you'll never run out of ammo with this thing. And you don't have to hit stuff a bunch of times. One shot's going to do it. It's a good way, too, to practice. You need some target practice, or you want to see, work on how the how the various zombies work and chase you, you can lay some of them out there and then kind of take them out. So it's kind of a... kind of some neat tools that help you. Let me see, I can get up here if I want to work on a building and remodel it somewhat, or build a, a def base for defense for people on my server. I could do that. Get, it, get to places real quick. Um, one of the other things you can do here, maybe you're done doing everything that you want to do here in um, your creative mode, and you want to uh, not have the clock move. So if you press the escape key, like you're going to get offline, but before your exit or anything, see it's on day one, and it's uh, 14, about 3 in the afternoon. Uh, maybe I've let this clock advance too much, and it's like, oh, I don't want all that time to go by. You can just, you know, click on the slider and back it up. It'll now be 10 in the morning. That simply. It's just going to change the clock. You'll see at the top center, it's now day one, uh, time 1 o'clock or 10 o'clock. You can change it. You can forward it to a day. So if you want to practice something, you've built something, and you want to see how it's going to work on a horde night, you can actually advance it up to, you know, about 10 minutes before horde night begins and let the horde night begin. And so you can see how things are going to work. So you have a lot of options here for uh, in the debug tools for changing things around. And um, you have an option here to get into fly mode and god mode and no collision. Of course, you can, once you're in creative, just hit H. That'll put you in fly mode. Space bar to go up, C to go down. Your, um, your jetpack still works here. If I go forward and press my jetpack, my space key like I'm running, you'll start going real fast through the air. 
So the reason I'm kind of showing you all these various things that you can do with the debugs, because it's all going to come together eventually. We're going to make a little base, or maybe we'll use this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to maybe take this prison. Uh, we're going to fortify it and pretend like we're making a server, and we're going to take this and make this where it'll have traders in it, but it will be protected, and the zombies can't destroy these buildings. Uh, nothing will spawn in there. It's going to basically become our, our home of operations. We're going to do some painting, some decorating, going to liven the place up. That'll be in future videos, so I hope you learned something from this one. Uh, until next time, uh, appreciate it. If you scroll down, you want to watch some actual gameplay through. There's a friend of mine, Army Momstrong, that does uh, some Let's Play videos of Seven Days to Die. You can click on the link and go to her channel. There's also a link to my uh, Twitch channel, which I don't do a lot of Seven Days to Die on it, um, but uh, I am on there, so you can give me a follow over there, too. Uh, remember to give me a like, subscribe, follow, whatever. All those interweb terms. And we will see you next time. Thanks.